Hello, Brian here with the Hobby Farm Guys, welcoming you back to another episode in our Spotlight series where we take a closer look at a particular breed of animal. Today, the Sumatra Chicken. Sumatras give you an idea of what chickens might have been like prior to hundreds of years of domestication. Sumatra chickens were shaped by the jungle islands just off Indonesia, originating on the island of Sumatra, hence the name. They're also found on other surrounding islands such as Java and Borneo. They're a smaller chicken, a little wild and very beautiful. In their natural environment, the Sumatra's feathers were mostly black, with some red-breasted colorations. Today, the standard color is a deep black with a hint of beetle green sheen. Blue, red, white, and splash varieties may also be found. The shanks are gray and the bottom of the feet are yellow. Face color ranges from purple to black, which makes it appear all the more mysterious and stunning. In many ways, it looks similar to a pheasant. Its straight posture and ready to fly appearance reflect its behavior. Aside from the beauty of the bird's pigmentation, the Sumatra also has a gorgeous flowing tail feathers. The comb on the Sumatra is a pea comb, and just like the rest of the bird, is dainty and small. But just when you think there aren't any more features to admire of the Sumatra, you'll notice it has one other little quirk, a characteristic that's unique to only a handful of chicken breeds. It has multiple spurs. As mentioned previously, the Sumatra, like most jungle fowl, is a small breed with roosters weighing about five pounds while hens tip the scale about four pounds. These tiny weights qualify the Sumatra as a bantam breed. With that being said, the Sumatra was and is recognized by the American Poultry Association as a standard breed. While primarily used for exhibition, their self-sufficient dispositions make them well suited to a life off-grid on a homestead. Since this is not an especially domesticated breed, they have wild personalities. Sumatra chickens have a personality more like a wild game bird than a chicken. In other words, they're skittish, nervous, and generally not as friendly as some other breeds. Despite their reputation for flightiness, however, there are also variances within the breed. Hens make great mothers, but not great pets. Roosters can be very territorial towards other roosters, and they typically must be physically separated from each other during mating season in the spring, but tend to tolerate each other during other times of the year, as long as they have enough space. Historically, the Sumatra chicken was known to fly high and far. They are great flyers, but the breed that exists today doesn't tend to fly. Though they don't fly much, they are known for their excellent launch capabilities. They can launch vertically extremely fast to get away from danger, and due to this innate feature, they don't like to be confined. Sumatra chickens are more aggressive in confinement. Their personality thrives when they're in open space. They are extremely active and excellent foragers. This is one breed that's kept its original wild characteristics. The overall temperament of the Sumatra is relaxed with spurts of aggression during the breeding season. They don't like to be alone, but prefer to roam and forage with other birds. Egg production from the Sumatra is only modest, averaging about a hundred smallish white eggs per year. That being said, they will lay through the winter, just not as many eggs. Hens typically go broody in the spring and make great mothers. Being a smaller bird, they don't make great options for the dinner table either. Certainly not typical small flock fowl, Sumatras are worth keeping for their rarity and beauty alone. One great benefit to less domesticated breeds like the Sumatra is they have excellent immune systems. In the jungle where these birds were bred initially, it's survival of the fittest. The strongest birds carry down the genes that were passed down. While they originate in a warmer climate, Sumatras do tolerate the cold given proper shelter. Not a typical barnyard chicken, Sumatras are a beautiful addition to your flock. They can be shown or, being a rare breed, bred for sale to other enthusiasts. 
They have unique needs and challenges, so make sure you're prepared for this game bird-like beauty before you bring it home. Well, that's the Sumatra chicken. If you have another breed of chicken or any farm animal you'd like us to spotlight, let us know in the comments below. And until next time, happy hobby farming.